My bacon, egg, and cheese turnovers are one decadent little meal in a handheld flaky pastry. I'm starting with the best part, the bacon. I'm crisping it up in my pan. Now while this continues to crisp, I'm gonna whip up some eggs. I'm gonna scramble four eggs with some mozzarella cheese that's gonna get really melty inside of these pastries. Now I'm gonna add some shredded mozzarella. It's gonna make these eggs creamy and gooey. And I'm also gonna chop up some chives for a nice pop of freshness. I'll pour these right in. Okay, I'm gonna check on my bacon now. Oh, it's looking great and really crispy, just the way I like it. Okay, I'm gonna transfer this to a paper towel to drain any excess grease. And I'm gonna use the bacon fat that's in my pan to cook my eggs. Now I'm gonna cook these eggs until they're just set. I do not wanna overcook them because otherwise they'll get dry. And even if they're a tiny bit undercooked, that's okay, because once they get put into the puff pastry and baked, they'll complete their cooking. My eggs are looking great. I'm gonna remove them from the heat and I'm gonna transfer them to a bowl so they don't continue cooking in the pan. Now I'll season with salt and black pepper. And I love hot sauce on my scrambled eggs. So I'm gonna add a few shakes of that. And I'm also gonna add some scallion cream cheese, which will add great creamy tanginess. And now I'll get my puff pastry. My puff pastry has thawed overnight in the fridge so that it's soft and easy to work with. And now I'm gonna roll it out onto my work surface. And I'm gonna dust my surface with some flour so that the puff pastry doesn't stick. Okay, I'm gonna roll this out until I have a 15 by 10 rectangle. And that's gonna make it so that I can have six big squares. Now I'm gonna cut this into two rows of three squares. So first, I'm gonna divide it in half along the equator. And now I'll divide it into thirds vertically, making sure I have perfect squares, okay? Now I'll transfer my squares to my baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper so that they don't stick. I'll evenly space these out, and now I'm ready to assemble. So to assemble these, I'm first gonna add a schmear of scallion cream cheese. I'm just adding a thin layer. I don't wanna add too much filling, otherwise they might start leaking out in the oven. Next, I'm gonna add some bacon, which I'm just gonna rip up with my hands. And I'm adding the bacon underneath the egg so that the bacon doesn't poke through the puff pastry when I fold it over. Okay. Next, I'm gonna add some of my scrambled egg mixture. Oh, these are gonna be delicious. Now to seal these up, I'll make an egg wash. I'll just crack an egg into a little bowl. I'll add a tiny splash of water, and then I'll whip it up. And then I'll brush this around the borders, which will act like the glue to hold the turnover shut. Now I'll fold these over, and then pinch the edges to seal them shut. And I wanna pinch the edges well so that they don't open up in the oven. It's okay if at this point they look a little rustic because the magic of puff pastry is that in the oven, it's gonna puff up and look beautiful no matter what. So now before these go in the oven, I'm gonna brush the tops with egg wash and that's gonna help them get golden and shiny. And then it's also going to help my topping stick. I'm gonna sprinkle the tops of these with everything bagel topping. Now, these are gonna bake at 375 for 30 minutes until they're golden brown and puffy. These puffed up perfectly. Look at those layers. They are gonna be so flaky and buttery and good. I can't wait to eat these. Okay, I'm gonna pack these up and I'll pair them with a little bit of ketchup. They're so cute. <laughs> 